Hello, welcome to Atal Tinkering Lab video series. Atal Tinkering Lab helps you translate your innovative ideas into reality. In this video series, you will learn about all the equipments in your Atal manual and what you can build using them. So, let's get started. Today, we are going to explore a crucial tool for all electronics projects, the breadboard. Whether you are a beginner or a pro, the breadboard is something you will always need. So, what is breadboard? It's a reusable platform used for prototyping circuits, thinking of it as a playground for your electronics, where you can build, test or modify a circuit easily. How does a breadboard work? So let's break it down. Breadboard has a grid of holes, where you insert wire and components. The holes are connected internally in a row and columns. So this is the structure of a breadboard. The vertical strips along the sides are the power rails. They are for positive and a ground connection. The horizontal rows in the middle are called terminal strip. These are where you connect components like register, LED or IC. The internal connections are what make it possible to connect components without soldering. Let me quickly show you how you can set up a basic LED circuit with a breadboard. First, connect the power rail to your power source. Insert a LED into the terminal strip. Use a register to prevent a burning out of LED. Finally, connect everything now. Why use a breadboard? Here are the some reasons. No soldering. You can easily modify your circuit. Easy learning. It's perfect for learning electronics and experimenting. And that's it. Now you know what a breadboard is and how to use it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more electronics tutorials. In the next video, we will be creating a small circuit using a breadboard.